Hey there lovely soul, I'm Infinity and welcome to my channel and to this video. This is for Taurus, the full moon, April 2021. I am a shaman, mystic, medical medium, psychic, physical empath, distance energy healer, ascension guide, astral meditation guide, and divinely guided artist. I also do mediumship work and I actually have a special going on for and through Mother's Day through actually the 15th of May. It's a, a really awesome special, a 30 minute and 60 minute session for mediumship. And um, I actually also did a video on that. So you can check out my channel, watch the video, go to my website, thehealingbutterfly.org for more information on that and don't delay, book your session today. And bef um, before we go any further, again, I just want to welcome cross -washer watchers, those of you that are here for your moon and your rising and definitely your sun sign. And without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, we got a flying card. And I put a new candle here, but I forgot to light it. There we go. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone, Taurus. Step out of your com comfort zone. This is the North Node um, card and step out of your comfort zone. So let me just tap in here. <sighs> yeah, there's something coming in. Some I'm hearing changes coming, new opportunities, new information that is different for you, a new person um, causing you to step out of your comfort zone, causing you to discover new things for yourself. Um, let's see what more we get with the Archangel Oracle. And for all of these readings for this full moon, it's been really fun. I was guided to just go with the flow and is guided. So each of these readings um, pretty much have different cards, different numbers of cards, um, different oracle decks and different uh, uh, tarot decks that I've been using. Um, so anyway, it's been pretty cool, pretty fun. And my music just ended. Wow, I guess I got to the end of that. I apologize. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Brilliant idea from Uriel and beloved one from Shamuel. So we're going to start here with brilliant idea. Whoa. <laughs> with Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So whatever this idea is, or new opportunity I'm hearing, and beloved one with Samuel, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Like I said, this could be somebody, a person, somebody that's gonna push you into a new space of thinking, being, living, and it's going to be unexpected. Um, and you're going to be like, should I do this? Should I trust this? Is this person for real? Um, that sort of thing. And the answer is yes. <clears throat> um, but <laughs> let's keep going because it's not just that. Um, that is definitely one thing. Um, but I do feel this is uh, like you're being led in down a path of set of timelines that's going to lead you to a, a person. I'm really feeling person or, or a group of people where you meet pe an, a person. There's like a person I'm feeling that's more, it's like a stronger thing here than just um, like... A group of people like there's one person in particular um, and you're gonna need to you're gonna it's gonna be very different very unexpected and and it's gonna cause you to be like huh 
this, you know, is this right? Like that sort of thing. Yep. Here we go. The dreamer with Archangel Metatron. This is the zero card leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities. <laughs> I think I just got done saying unexpected. So there we go. The dreamer is also the full card in traditional tarot. So with with um, angel tarot, the, it's the dreamer card is the full card with Archangel Metatron. <sighs> Metatron is coming in and saying, um, and he's like the keeper. It's Metatron's cube. He's kind of the keeper of sacred geometry and really kind of points. I kind of feel him as the the go to guy for, you know, what sacred geometry or and also frequencies to work with and listen to. So he's coming through right now and he's saying the more that you can connect with sacred geometry and specifically your Merkaba, working with your Merkaba, with your chakras, with your Kundalini energy, with your divine feminine, divine masculine energies is really going to help solidify your foundation for the future with yourself and with this person. Um, so you just feel more at ease. You feel more confident with it. Um, let's get some woozy wowzers. Okay, I'm going to take that because it flipped over. Cards have been hard to keep in my hand today. They're just flying. So this is the Crystal Oracle. So interesting, I'm being guided to this right off the top because typically I, I'm being guided to these at the end. Here's one. Dance. Oh, fun. So we have cleansing and dance coming through. I'm hearing one more, one more, and there it is. I didn't even have to shuffle it to the bottom. Creativity. Oh, wow. So cleansing with black tourmaline and feather energy, the number six card of this deck, cleansing. So you see Juice Palo Santo right here. I've got my bowl of just Palo Santo and Sage up cards right here. So I got to be careful. But um, I light it all the time. I clear my cards with it. So Palo Santo, Sage, Bay Leaves, um, just different types of flower, dried flowers. Um, but definitely you see the smoke there with the sage and the feather. So you can also use a feather with your sage to move the, the sage around and to cleanse around yourself. Um, we have dance with rattle and boulder opal with card number nine. So you see we have that six and that nine energy. There we go with more symbolism there. The six and the nine cleansing and dance and believe it or not these two cleansing and dance are very similar when you dance you cleanse your energy you're moving your body it's shaking up the energy around you and this is why um exercise and dance is so good for us not only does it work our muscles but it works our energy and it lifts off if you if you can think of um, energy just settling in the on the body like dust and then just sitting there and then all of a sudden you move, it moves and it takes all that, all that dust, all that energy out of your body. Rattle is a frequency that helps the energy move, helps that you get into the, the rhythm of the body and the flow of the energy. And so it gets you into that. So does drum. And then creativity with fire. And it's Big Spite is the uh, the crystal, and that's card number seven. So creativity. So again, step out of your comfort zone. Um, I got the energy coming through of a of a person coming through a situation or a, a group kind of thing. And this could be very literal that you find yourself in a group where they're dancing, where they're doing art and creative things like even body art and, and um, music and fire dancing and, and painting and all sorts of stuff um, to use creativity. I'm seeing light and um. 
fun stuff. Fun stuff. Stuff that you're not accustomed to doing, um, especially in a group kind of environment. But I kind of feel like this is energy that's coming in for you right now. And I'm, this is really exciting. Let's get into some tarot. Um, let's see, where are we going with here? Let's go. Wow, I'm being guided directly and firstly to the dreams of Gaia Tarot. This is a newer deck for me. It's really beautiful, very cool, and it's it's set up differently than regular tarot. Um, with more cards and different types of cards. There's a couple right there. There's one more. Let's see what we have here love <laughs> and knowledge and thought wow 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 taurus i'm hearing let's get another this one right here the uh nine of of earth and I will share these with you in just a moment. I'm hearing also again one more, and it's this one. Wisdom. Oh my goodness. So many big cards here. Holy moly. Let's get one more even I'm hearing. Okay, let's make room here. really big cards coming out here taurus beautiful reading and i've barely gotten into it and queen of fire so we'll start here with queen of fire since i pulled it out and showed it to you that means we're done queen of fire will work backwards <laughs> wisdom card number 10 of the major arcana wisdom oh, we've got some glare there it's a shiny deck. Wisdom. And then the nine card with of nine of earth. Then the uh, 18 card thought. 18 of the major arcana thought then knowledge and this is the um the ninth card of the major arcana with thought or sorry with knowledge and then last but not least and first coming out is the uh 12th card of the major arcana for this re or for this deck and that is the love card and we start with the love card we start oh boy <laughs> wowza wowza this is pretty cool taurus Raphael giving me a wink with this uh beloved one with i am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship and he's pointing directly to this with love knowledge thought the nine of earth wisdom and queen of fire so love um this is definitely speaking to um and and this love card is like unconditional love um really working from that heart center being vulnerable um but being like in faith and all that good stuff knowledge is is seeking more information obviously thought and knowledge coming in here really interesting also with dance and creativity you also have that six and that nine where was that oh that was the six and the nine i think the cleansing was the six the dance is the nine creativity is the seven um so what's interesting here is there's a lot of brain power on like both sides so there's like the left and the right side of the brain i'm feeling here and the upper and the like as above so as below as, as above so as below that kind of thing 
And then this love card coming through here. And so there's definitely this, this love energy coming through with this, um, what is this? This nine of earth. This is about having just feeling so abundant, not wanting for anything and just being, you know, being really charitable and blessed and all of this type of energy. And um, but what I'm seeing with this is this is like an offering, a gift for you that's coming through the gift of a new beginning, the gift of of having a counterpart of a partner now this doesn't necessarily mean it's romantic i'm being told this is a very deep soul mate type relationship you've been around the party with this person a few times so this could be romantic but it doesn't have to be this could be just somebody that you can that you'll meet or you have met um i think more more recently um and you know when i say recently i say like within the last like few months six months something like that um and there's a lot of energy and knowledge and wisdom and awesome conversation and also passion this is the the a queen of fire she's about passion creativity really not like letting anything stand in her way kind of thing she's coming through with the butterfly energy so really representing transformation she has the kitty there so the feline energy which is really really strong strong energy there so it's like ties to this feline energy um so this could be a man or a woman, divine masculine, divine, divine feminine, however it works out for you. Let's get some clarity here with the Lightseer's Tarot, beautiful Taurus. Okay. Choo, choo, choo. And why isn't this music playing? There we go. 20 minutes in, I realize I can't hear the music. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, The High Priestess, The Star three of pentacles okay seven of pentacles are we in reverse we're gonna turn that over we're turning that we're turning all of these over i'm hearing okay it's just because they come out in reverse doesn't mean they need to stay that way so sometimes i'm directed to turn them over so we have seven of pentacles coming in under the love and clarifying the love card so we're we're planting seeds we're building something here um knowledge is is um also or being clarified by the six of pentacles so it's a even exchange you're giving you're getting which is nice giving and getting of information so there isn't like this i give all i like they talk a lot and I listen or I talk a lot and they listen. I feel like, you know, it's, it feels like this is a really good back and forth communicating type of relationship. We have the two of pentacles coming in under thought. So we have this balance, this, this is really good. This like physical connection, spiritual connection is what I'm seeing here. The high priestess coming in, um, clarifying this nine of earth. Sorry, that was really fast. <laughs> this nine of earth and this high priestess. So this is definitely like psychic and um, telepathic, really energy. Like, do you have to talk? Not you're probably reading each other's minds or you will be reading each other's minds we have the star and wisdom so (sighs) 
I feel like coming through with this star card, I'm feeling like even like it's interesting, like with these two cards and the and the vision I just got was like even when you're sleeping, whether you sleep in the same bed, you know, because you are physically connected or you don't, it's like you're even in astral doing stuff together and you're aware of it. Um, and then the three of pentacles coming in to clarify the queen of fire. So that's really showing me you and this person being connected. This card, especially in this deck, this speaks to other people uniting, connecting, having the three pentacles together. But in this deck, especially this is where I see that the guy at the top as like your guidance, your angels, your archangels, your guardian angels, your ancestors, your spirit tribe, whomever um, coming through to gu help guide, you know, saying, hey, this is what's going on. And you're like, oh, OK, you're working with that. We have the inner child, the inner spirit, and then we have you as, you know, the person that's processing all of this through and, and living in this dimension. And so, oh, this is really awesome energy. Wow. Um, well, okay, so let's pull, I'm being guided to the archetype cards and these are the um the tools not the places not the selves um the and not the initiations or the themes this is the tool so let's see what comes through with the tool just to give us more information more insight because we definitely have this new beginning somebody coming through somebody you're connected to it's going to feel like this bolt of lightning coming at you we have the medallion oh interesting i'm really I, this is a new um oracle deck for me so let's look into it let's open up the book and look into the medallion as I'm interested to see what this is. This is a really interesting, did I pass my, yeah, I think I, I have to use, there we go. 185, I believe that just said. Here we go. Okay, the amulet, the talisman, the heirloom, the passing on of sacred objects is an ancient ritual within families, between lovers and in tribes across the globe. We gift jewels, treasures, keepsakes, and mementos of all kinds, some of great material value, others that hold emotional resonance, and still others with both. Yet, when these gifts are bestowed upon us, it is important to recognize that they may bind us to an unspoken agreement or promise. When the medallion card appears, be aware of, be aware of how, <coughs> how the object you hold dear may be embedded with unconscious energy or expectations. Materials hold consciousness, and it's time to reconcile the vibration of the object around you sorry objects around you what do you covet and collect why is there an object you have held on for years that you are ready to release perhaps it is time to reach for the medallion that aligns with your deepest values um and it says here imagine if you and your family school or social group had a chest emblem or amulet what would it be draw it oh how fun there's your creativity do you believe that objects contain supernatural properties when have you experienced this to be true well most definitely objects our energy contain energy release and transmit and absorb energy and some of us can feel that um very much within you know our touch or just connecting you know psychically to them um 
But what's coming here, where is it? The medallion. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is interesting. This feels like there's even, it may be, oh, wow. Is that what that is? Okay, so we could take it literally. So think about, yes, what do you collect? What do you covet? What's important to you? What do you have a family heirloom? Do you have something that you intend to pass on? Did you receive something? Are you planning to receive something? Has somebody crossed over and whenever you hold this thing or look at this thing, does it, do you feel that energy with them? Do you, are you guided to go to it? You know, things like this, that would definitely be an indication of a, of a cross world, um, you know, between this world and the spirit world um, connection, to, you know, to an object that helps you connect to the spirit world, helps you connect to your ancestors. Um, aside from that, this is kind of the second thing that talked about cleansing. We got the cleansing card with the crystal in it, with the crystal oracle, and we have the medallion here. And they both kind of speak to: Is there any, you know, what needs to be released? What needs to be cleansed? Um, with cleansing, I would say, let me just switch to that real quick because I'm picking up on it. Um, Cleansing also means clearing, also means cutting energy. So to make room for this um, new relationship on the horizon or this improved connection, or maybe you already, like I said, you know this person and it's just going to develop or you're just going to meet somebody. But it's important to cut cords. It's important to clear your energy within your body to get to a place of of balance, right? So we can um, bring in new energy. And I think that's also what this medallion is talking about too. It's like medallion is talking about things that are important to us, keepsakes and um, heirlooms and things that represent people or situations, groups and stuff like that. Um and so there could be some or it could oh i can also see this as you know a hobby or stuff you collect uh things like that so somebody was to ask me what do you collect do you collect anything are you a collector of things i would say yes i would say um crystals and plants um, are definitely two things that I love to collect and I would have a bunch more of it and I will at some point, um, greenhouse and more rooms to put crystals and shelves and, you know, I just like, I love all that stuff. So, so think about what it is that you collect, what it is you have in your environment and what vibration that sends out. What's the energy associated with that? Do you continue to collect things that you were collecting when you were really young? And are you doing it because you still have a passion for it or you love it or you or maybe not collecting anymore, but keeping it, just storing it, just having it around or it's in somebody else's house, like your parents' house or it's in storage. I'm kind of seeing that like it could be cards or games or toys. Um, think about letting that stuff go um, or or having the intention of giving it away or um, selling it, um, passing it on or distributing it out. If there's something that's like if your energy is tied to things in your environment that is no longer in resonance with you now, it's going to be difficult to have the energy of other people resonate with the energy that you are now to come into alignment so it's like saying um i'm this introspective spiritual person but i'm hanging out at the club all night every day that's out of alignment really you know people that they don't do both of those there's mostly that doesn't happen you know so where you're, I mean, this is just an example. This is just like saying like where your energy, where you're at in your surroundings, what you surround yourself with, who you surround yourself with, the objects, the people, the symbols, the everything. 
is a frequency and it's sent and it amplifies your frequency and it also um activates your frequency and it also amplifies your frequency so it's really important to discern for yourself what's in your environment what do you attach to energetically even if it is stuff in storage even if it is stuff at another another place or or wherever it's still yours. That's your energy. It's your stuff. So um, you want to have everything that you're attached to be in resonance with who you are now and moving forward. What resonates with you at this time. So you could have been a partier. You could have been addicted to drugs. You could have been whatever but now you're completely something different you're spiritual you do yoga you meditate you eat vegan so you know you're you've changed and you're not in that world anymore you're in this world and so you're gonna have the your environment is going to reflect that um, I'm also picking up on video games and this might be something um, that you use to pass the time. You could see it as social because you're connecting with other people online if that's the kind of video gaming you do. However, it's also um, visually very, a lot coming through and it really kind of messes with the third eye. So if you're somebody that does a lot of video gaming and you're also trying to do meditation and work with your third eye and connect spiritually and all of that, you might want to consider the collection of time that goes with video gaming and whether it's violent or not, um, what it, and what with the energy that comes through is all connected to you. So it's and the stimulation again to your third eye, such so as something that just came through. So consider that. Um, and let's see, are we gonna do anything else here? I really don't think so. I feel like we're this we've got the full picture here. Um, we we're coming into a new phase. We're gonna work on cleansing. Know that um somebody, at least a group of people, that's going to bring you into a new um a new environment where you might meet this one person, or it could be you meet this one person first. But it's definitely a soul connection. You're definitely going to be um, in balance with this person. But just work on your your own um, your own balance of energy, or cleaning and cleansing of energy for yourself, and um, be just have this have this outlook going forward that you are open to the possibilities that you're going to um really go forward with a sense of like again we have the dreamer that's the fool card that's new beginnings that's going forward in faith that is stepping out of your comfort zone um and and everything coming through especially if it's creative um, please follow that guidance with this creativity card because um, that's going to really help solidify this for you, really make you feel good um, with yourself and with this situation. You're going to get your, again, planting seeds. All of these cards are really, really great. Um, Yeah, and just release the past. That's the last thing I heard here. Release the past. Release um, fears of vulnerability, of not trusting people, of things not working out, of all of that kind of stuff. If you feel that in yourself, then work on cutting cords to where that stems from so you can be as light as high frequency as possible to allow for this person and people to come in because um, it, it's just a it's just a matter of of being on the road to this person and it can be windy or it can be straight 
and that's really up to you so just go forward with this openness with this with this need to clear your environment to and to work with your own energy to go into meditation um, I'm hearing that it would be really good for you to do the um, body love meditation. And that's also with uh, meet your guardian angel. And then the healing your inner child and integrating with your inner child meditation. Those two meditations would be great aside from all in any cord cutting you could do. And those meditations are found on my YouTube channel, on my podcast, and the uh, ebooks are on my website. Okay, Taurus, this is a lovely reading. I hope it resonates with you. Please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to come back to these parts and join me for more energy updates, meditations, tarot and oracle readings. In the future, we'll be doing lives of all of that and um, art as well. Oh yeah, and um, in case I forgot to mention it, I have a special for my mediumship um, and that is on my website and I did a video so you can check that out. All right, Taurus, have a beautiful full moon through your new moon and beautiful May. Don't forget to come back for your May monthly reading and I will see you soon. Until next time, infinite love and blessings. Bye.